Hey, welcome back to another example here on using the integration by parts formula to solve an integral. So this is the integral that we want to solve. It's x secant squared x. And we're going to use the integration by parts formula, which is over here in blue. So as always with the integration by parts formula, what we do is we take a look at the integrand, which is the formula that we want to integrate. And we want to pick, we want to split it up into two parts. One part that is easy to derive and the other part that is easy to integrate. Now, in this case, uh, we're going to pick x as the part that is easy to derive and secant squared of x, the part that is easy to integrate because we can find that in our integral table. So getting started, we have u here. We're going to call x um, u. And we're going to call secant squared of x dx. We're going to call this dv, which means that we have the integral now of u dv, which is this left-hand side of the equation. And we need to still find u, uh, no, so we need to find du and v, and then we'll have all the variables or elements that we need to put into this, and then we can just plug and chuck. So the way that we do that is we just go ahead and we take u, which is equal to x, and we're gonna derive that with respect to x. So we have du dx, so the derivative of x is just equal to one. And then we can rearrange this a little bit, so we just have du is equal to one dx, or just equal to dx. Now for dv, we can write this separately as well. This is secant squared of x and dx. What we're going to do is we're going to take the integral of dv. So we have the integral of dv is just equal to the integral of secant squared x dx. Now at this point we should check our integral table to see if we have an integral that matches the form of this. So you're either going to be provided an integral table or you can use the one that's on the engineer for free website. The link is in the description below where you can get this, but this is basically just a link on the website. Um, but we wanted to look for one that had the form of the integral of secant squared x dx. So if we just come scroll down here, eventually we're going to get down to this section, and we've got it right here. The integral of secant squared x dx is just equal to tan of x plus c. So we're just going to copy this back into our worksheet. So we've got it just here in red, and because this is the exact form that we have, we can just replace this with the solution, just tan of x plus c. So the integral of dv is just equal to v, and then the integral of secant squared x is just equal to tan of x plus this arbitrary constant. You can leave it in or out right now as long as you remember to add it back in later. You don't have to write it. So I'm just going to put this in plus c, but I'm not actually going to include it in the next step because it's just kind of annoying. And you're going to see it's easier to kind of ignore it until the very end and just add in the arbitrary constant at the end. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we want to apply the integration by parts formula. So maybe let's write it down here again, just so it's super clear. Now again, the integral of u dv is this thing, the integral of u dv. So this is the original thing that we were looking for, so we can write that on the left-hand side. And now we just have to plug and chug. So we have u and v, and right now, here we have u is equal to x, and v is tan of x plus c, so we can plug that in. And again, I'm just not going to write the plus c for now, because otherwise we just have to distribute a whole bunch of you know more terms multiplied by c, and at the end, combine all of the unknown constants into one single unknown constant, and it's just a little bit redundant. Um, so I'm just going to drop the plus c for now. But when we hear, when we have the next term here, we have minus the integral of v du. So first of all, let's write minus the integral. And v is tan of x plus c, or just tan of x. And du is dx. So we can just plug those in as well. So we're going to have tan of x for v. And then for du, we have dx. So now we have another integral that we have to solve, but the integral of tan of x dx is a new one. But again, we're going to consult our table of integrals, and we're just going to look around in our table and see if we can find tan of x dx, and it's right here. The integral of tan x dx is equal to negative ln of cos of x plus c. So let's bring that in as well. And now we can just make this substitution because the integral of this tan x dx is just equal to exactly this right-hand side of the equation. So let's just simplify this a little bit. So we have u tan of x minus a negative ln, so that's actually going to become plus ln of the absolute value of cos x plus c. Now we're at this point, we're just going to add n plus c because we can't simplify this any further. So this is actually going to be the solution to our problem. So we can actually write i there if we wanted and we can draw a big green box around it because this is the solution to our problem. So hopefully that helped. Um, when you see an integral that looks like it can be split into two halves, 
one half that can be derived and one half that can be integrated, then integration by parts is a really good method to try. And uh, it's pretty simple to follow the steps and just plug in the values for u, dv, and du, and v. And then pretty much we can just arrive at our solution. So guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next video.